have a confession. I went through your tweets. No. We're gonna go through some of your older uh, tweets no. <laughs> that I found really amusing. Okay. I hope you're okay. Are you ready for that? I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. I was actually really entertained while I was reading these. I'm nervous. <laughs> so first one. Cereal with frozen fruit is my favorite snack. That and Hot Pockets. Going to bed satisfied. Because if that is what a professional athlete's diet is like, I definitely could get on board with that. <laughs> when was that from? That was from April 28th, 2014. 2014, I'm, I'm in college. <laughs> oh man, uh, first of all, I think, obviously like a testament to Abbotsford and the Fraser Valley, the berries are the best in the world. Yeah, opinion. definitely. So uh, my family picks it, we do like a lot of picking of berries and we have like a one room downstairs, just a freezer of frozen berries. So we would always do like berries on our cereal and that was, I guess at the time, that was my favorite thing, so. Yeah. <laughs> I can kind of relate. Every time I would exercise, I always eat Hot Pockets afterwards, oh, so. Yeah. Really bad diet, but I, I get it. I get it though, yeah. I get it. Next one. How can you not jump on the Clipper bandwagon? So with this, in 20, that was May 2014. Mm. There were some big hitters like Blake Griffin, mm -hmm. DeAndre Jordan, mm -hmm. Nate Robinson. But now, do you think that that's more relevant now since they have, you know, Lou Williams, Pat right. Bev, Kawhi, and Paul George? Right. See, I can't believe I said that. And I'm a Suns fan. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I love the roster right now. Mm -hmm. um, I saw just an interview today where they were, you know, talking to Kawhi and, and PG and saying like, "Hey, you know, the Lakers have kind of been a dominant thing to the Clippers." And he was like, "No, hold on. Like, the Clippers have been dominant in the past years." Yeah. So I, I love their defensive intensity. I love the way they've sort of had a little rewiring of the NBA through their through their production. So I, I actually love it, and I'm, I'm really excited to watch a finally like a really defensive oriented team. I hope they bring back like the bad boys of the NBA. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah. I think that tweet can get a retweet. For sure, <laughs> for sure. Okay, next one. Kind of like falling behind in my favorite shows. That way I can binge watch in the future. Yes. So what are some of the shows? That was also, a lot of these are from 2014. Yeah, yeah. Everyone knows that feeling too. It's like, you're like a couple of shows behind, you're busy on Saturday, Sunday, and then all of a sudden you get two, three episodes. That's the best. Best feeling. What are some of the shows that you like to binge watch? Oh, okay, reality TV, like my, my go-to is Amazing Race. I love it. I love Amazing Race. Um, my wife loves MasterChef. Oh, I that's love like, Master. That's like our thing. Like Gordon Ramsay when he explodes on someone's like my my favorite thing. I'm not a huge Game of Thrones fan. Me either. Uh, I don't yeah. understand that whole whole thing. Not a thing. huge Game of Thrones guy. No. Uh, <laughs> Sorry guys. Yeah. <laughs> to the millions and millions of fans around the world. So this one I kind of like. Every time my golf game improves, my basketball game suffers. Hashtag priorities. I feel like you shouldn't be golfing while the season is on. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But you do like to golf, hey? I love to golf. And the problem is I'm left-handed, and I never played well as growing up, um, and so I'm just terrible. Like, my swing is bad. I look awful. I went, I went golfing uh, just a few days back with the club president of, of Ledgeview. Great course. Like, he's, he's golfing, you know, scratch golfer, and I'm out there shooting in the hundreds. So, but I, I enjoy, it. I, I enjoy the, the mental aspect of it. Um, I enjoy competing. I enjoy competing in anything. So if you're going to give me a golf game, if you're going to give me a, a game of of a board game, if you're gonna make hard, I don't care. I love to compete. I actually, I love golfing as well. Really? I started off as a left-handed golfer when wow. I was younger. You switched. Switched to right hand. Switch it. And I've been great ever since. Uh, maybe, <laughs> so maybe you should, should try it. Maybe that's some tickets, for sure. Okay, get back to Cali. First thing, haircut. Second thing, burrito. Yes. Where yes. have you had the best burrito? And how spicy do you make them? I don't make them spicy. Um, I don't love spicy burritos. Okay, the thing about burritos is a, Mexi a real Mexican burrito, like a real San Diego, Southern California burrito, you can do breakfast burritos. So I go like a big loaded breakfast burrito, you got your carne asada, you got your, you got your fries, you got your guacamole, you got the whole thing. Um, that must have been when you were playing in... Everywhere. I would say I was playing in San Diego, but even playing pro, like when I would come back, would come back in the summers and, and go to San Diego, the Mexican food there is phenomenal. Okay, so we've got two more. Why are you letting people laugh at your dreams? Someone out there is laughing all the way to the bank because they invented the pool noodle. Uh, <laughs> that I liked. Nice. I did like that one because it reminded me of like, have you ever had a moment where you dreamed of something, somebody laughed at you and you were like, I'm going to show you. Yeah. <laughs> Literally like two days ago again, I was coaching a camp and this, this young girl was, she, she was really uh, like, she was like sitting on the side. I went over like, oh, why are you sitting there? She's like, oh man, like I'm not any good at basketball. All my friends tell me I'm too short to play. So I was just like, and she's like literally grade grade four or grade five. Like there's no reason that she should be discouraged. Um, she should just be out here having fun. And I was like, look, like people used to tell me all the time I was too short, all the time. And if I got cut for a team, it was like affirmation of that. 
And then one day I just kind of like, look, you know, your dreams are your dreams. And if, if it means you have to keep them quiet so people won't laugh at them, do it. But then at the end of the day, like it takes that real courage to, to say what you want and to speak it into existence and then to go get it and get after it. Like I said, someone invented the pool noodle and that's disgusting. And they made like millions and millions of dollars. But also I'm, I'm very entrepreneurial. I, I have my master's in business and I'm always thinking about new product innovations and different things I can do. And so uh, I think that's a great mindset, like a really good growth mindset to, to continually look at the game of basketball and see how I can improve it or myself, how I can improve myself um, in those ways. Okay, you survived this far. Last one, last one. I'm nervous. <laughs> Everyone out here is growing that winter beard already. Man, will this be the year I become the white James Harden? I feel wow. like we're still waiting for that day to happen. Oh, I tweeted that? <laughs> you did. That's awesome. You sure did. That right is there, awesome. September 20th, 2015. The thing is, I can grow a nice beard too. Like, I can, it can get long. And it, so not long, it can get uh, thick and, and I've always thought about it. If I, I always like, get to that phase where um, it gets itchy and it's like in between looking, it's, it's that awkward stage. Everyone's hating on it, so then I just, I just shave it. So maybe we'll see that. Maybe. If the Rockets make it to the, you know, to the finals, you should just... Rockets make it to the finals, I will come back next year with a beard. Yes. Yes. You heard it here. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, Merrick. It was such a pleasure. It's definitely important to know yourself. Like, I'm, I'm an extrovert, but I, I recharge individually. And so, like, a lot of times I'll just, like, straight up take a train somewhere and just...